hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use lucid chart for organizational chart let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in lucid chart i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go creating an organizational chart here in this platform is straightforward and very easy once you are logged into your account on the dashboard right here there's going to be a click new document option for you to start from scratch by clicking the black document or if you want to choose a pre-made organizational chart template from the template gallery click this option If you can't find the org template, you might want to type in, say, org chart, for example. We'll see. All right. Now, this icon right here means you can open this template in Lucid Spark. It's a different application, but see, it's almost similar to Lucid Chart. So you might want to choose the uh, template if that has this Lucid Chart icon. Now we have org chart, simple org chart, and the organizational chart. If you wanted to take the preview of this, making sure that this is going to be the chart to reflect and visualize your organizational structure, we might want to check uh, check something here. All right, and then click the use template. What will happen is you would be forwarded to the template editor. Wait for it to load. Takes a little while, but the panel of your dashboard, all right, you can, matter of fact, uh, move all of these. For example, we can put in an image here, all right, by clicking the uh, left side panel on the images, click this. Let's say, for example, this is going to be the org chart. I'm going to rename this as maybe the flaps. Right. You can put in the employee ID if you want. Name. All right. So um, role and a lot more. You can put in some information here, such as you want to put in the email, cell phone, location, tier, total reports, direct reports, supervisor ID, and employee ID. All right, so you can have all this information here. Basically, um, you are placing the top level of positions, for example, as a CEO or manager at the top of the canvas. And obviously, you can add subordinate positions below and arrange them hierarchically if you wanted. All right. Now. In this section, we can connect all these. If you go to the shapes in the left hand panel, we can add like an arrow. For example, this is the CEO for this. Click this. All right. And again, you can also go to the property for this document settings. We might want to choose a different background of our preferences and that best represents our brand and identity. All right. So it's, you have all these options for you. You can choose from any of the following. Maybe let's start with. I like to have it grayed, grayed out. Kind of like I, I like the feel of it. Again, here you can add more information along the way. You can add what put in the data, employee ID, even in the name. For example, this is gonna be. How about that? And leave a feedback after that if you wanted all right you can customize the shape data if you want you can add uh, another one here the tier and all of this information now if you want to import data for automation which is optional go to the file and click the import click the import data and you have all these you can create diagrams with data or a chart erd data linking and conditional formatting and you can also use all of these information for you right it's very easy 
once you've done that once you're happy with the how it feels right you can go to the section here on the uh, presentation builder especially if you want to present this to your client or to your team members you can add a new slide we're in this it's going to be the first slide but to make sure it's uh taking notes and the next slide is going to be all these right here so this is going to be the second slide all right and if you want to send this to google slides you can do that later send to google slides or present slides if you wanted now you have a using your keyboard pressing the left arrow you were you're able to successfully create a presentation for your organizational chart which is useful if you want to present this to your client or for a team presentation now after doing so if you want to save this or export this organizational chart via pdf for printing to your maybe your whiteboard or your uh team board you can do that by pressing all the information here you can save this as a pdf png jpeg with the transparent background jpeg svg and a lot more you can set the page size to all these different uh, sizes custom crop crop to content include the page fill and accessible pdf you have all these options for you all right now once you have created a copy of this you also have an option to share this to your team members to your maybe your client you can give them an access label for the edit and share edit but can't share or change access permissions comment but can't share or edit or change access permissions and the viewer in they cannot share cannot edit comment or change access permissions so you have all these you also have an option while creating an organizational chart to make a print no the uh, publish options all right publish full document url full document pdf area selection or single pdf he have all of these options for you and of course you can use advanced features such as collaboration of feature like comment right here you can add a comment mention your uh, boss your client or your team members you have the smart containers in the left side you can group related departments individually and we also have the dynamic updates you can update the org chart as your team changes so these are all highly customizable here in lucid chart which is one of the best tools for creating diagram in, in the market and again in this uh, section where it says uh, integrations you can import data for automation you can use all these third-party tools to make your workflow easier and automated and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one